I'm a guitar player and a singer dependent on the background of a band or a track. And I can only really provide to myself what I come up with all the way around. So I'm building the, the easel, I'm mixing the paint, you know, I'm, I'm constructing every molecule of this thing. And when, when I get to move out of that and go on someone else's background that's already sort of painted up and then I lay my guitar on and the vocal on, it's the biggest thrill of my life. I always had this unbelievably large, beautiful, romantic fantasy about making it. That that was going to be being knighted. You have a record deal. You're going to go have a dinner with a giant golf-sized tournament check, you know, and you're going <laughs> to... You can go to the roof of the building and you're going to stand at the edge of it and say, I made it. <laughs> they, they protract the record signing process so far that you won't even remember your own damn name by the time you sign on the dotted line. Sometimes when you write, you're really more or less trying to let someone know that you're a good writer. And I think that gets in the way sometimes. People do it when they sing. <laughs> You never write anything on the spot. You write on the spot at home for four hours at a time. That's writing on the spot, laboring on the spot so that you get a half an hour of something you might remember when it's time to write on the spot. You need time to take the chorus from that awesome song that didn't have an awesome verse, turn that into the bridge, the next song that you wrote that has a really solid verse, and you just keep folding the dough. So I've never been happier than when I get a new song. Never, I float for a day. I, f I float for a day. I mean, you know, you know the feeling when you've created it and, and now it's yours. You go to dinner, having written a song. <laughs> You're never going to meet a more cocky me. <laughs> I still don't consider myself here as an artist, so I see, like, I always feel like if I didn't do a good show at Madison Square Garden, like, I would never get to play Madison Square Garden again. I'm trying to figure out now in my career how to, like, change the overall desire to ascend into the desire to just continue. Mm -hmm. Because my brain is getting really tired of the idea of how do I top, how do I top, how do I top. If you keep doing this, I think you just have to go like this and then just continue. What if I just delivered a tune and I wasn't trying to knock you over with it? What if I was just playing and if you liked it, which you probably already do, maybe I could stop proving to you that you're here for the right reason. Maybe we could all just take a deep breath and I could just play. I could play something I like instead of wondering who is this losing right now? I just want to write a record and not think about where I'd be when it came on the radio. I don't think that's an essential thought. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything is essential but now playing. You guys are all in this position where nobody at a label, I'm not going to throw you in the bus here, at ASCAP, anywhere can tell you that that's not really what, what you're doing is not really what's happening right now because nothing's really happening right now. Nothing's really happening, and anybody in this room could be the next thing.